Under the influence of the epidemic, telecommuting has become more and more common, and online meetings have become the most commonly used communication method at work. Zoom and WebEx are common online conference software. You may need to record the conference for reference later, or you may need to record it for backup purposes. Whatever is fine, whatever your reason for recording, today's video will teach you how to record the Zoom conference. Method 1. Use Zoom screen recording function. Zoom actually has a built-in screen recording function, but this function can only be used by the host by default. If you are only a participant, you need to get the permission of the host before recording the meeting. This is mainly because Zoom takes into account the privacy issues involved in the content of the meeting. You know that many meetings are actually private, and he can't let people just record them, which is not conducive to the protection of privacy. If this meeting doesn't involve privacy, then you can contact the host first, get authorization, and then record the meeting. If you are the host or have obtained the recording permission, you can follow my steps to record the Zoom video. Now I'm in front of my computer. I'm using Windows 10 computer. No matter whether you use Windows or Mac, the steps are the same. First, go to Zoom's official website and then register or log in to your Zoom account. You can log in here by Gmail mailbox, and after logging in, you will see such an interface of meeting settings. In the upper right corner of your avatar position, you can click on it to change your information, or you can click on the profile here or go to your profile page to change it. Click on the meeting bar after the change, and you can see your meeting schedule, previous meeting minutes, a private meeting room, and a meeting template. In the column of the meeting schedule, you can make an appointment for the meeting in advance, and then you can invite others to attend the meeting by sharing the meeting number. Before you start the meeting, you can set up the basic situation of the meeting. Here is a drop-down menu of host a meeting in the upper right corner. Click it and you can set whether to turn on the camera or just share the screen. Whichever you click, the Zoom will automatically download the client to your computer. I choose with video on. When the download is complete, your account will automatically log in and open the meeting. Look, now my camera is turned on and recorded on my side. Then you can click the Join with Computer Audio button, or check this Auto Join option in the lower left corner. Now, after I click Join with Computer Audio, I can listen to the radio through the microphone. Let's start our video recording today. Now you can see that there is a Record button in the lower right corner. Click this button, and you can choose to record and store it locally on your computer or in the cloud. Note that if you want to store it in the cloud, you need to buy the premium version of Zoom. Here, I choose to store it locally on my computer, and then a pop-up window will let me choose the storage path. I'm going to save it on the desktop, select the desktop and confirm it, and then start recording. Wait until you don't need to record anymore. Click this stop button, and the recorded video will be saved after the meeting. Now that we have finished the meeting, we can see that a pop-up window will prompt you to change the format of the recorded video. When this progress bar is over, look, the recorded video will be stored on the desktop. Let's click and have a look. The recorded meeting is stored here. Method 2. Use the built-in screen recording software. Windows and Mac have their own screen recording software. Windows users can use Xbox Game Bar to record while Mac users can use QuickTime Player. If you are a Windows user, first join or initiate the meeting according to the method we introduced earlier. Then press Window, Alt, and R on the keyboard at the same time to start recording. Now we have already started recording the Zoom meeting. During the recording process, you can press Windows and G at the same time to open the Game Bar window. Now I have opened the Game Bar window, and in the window, I can control whether the audio is recorded at the same time by clicking this microphone logo. Now let's assume that the meeting is tied, and then press Windows, Alt, and R again to stop recording. Then press Windows and G at the same time to open the Game Bar window. Click this Gallery button, and you can preview the Zoom video we just recorded. Although it is convenient to record videos with Game Bar, there is a time limit. 
If the recording time exceeds the limit, the recording will be stopped automatically. Now let's talk about the method of recording Zoom meetings with Mac. This is my Mac desktop. First, join or start our Zoom meeting. Then click Launchpad. Find QuickTime Player and open it. Open the file menu bar in the upper left corner and select New Screen Recording. Then the screenshot toolbar will appear on your desktop. If you are using Mojave and later systems, you can use the shortcut key directly. Press and hold Command, Shift, and the number 5 at the same time to open the screenshot toolbar. Click the dotted line to set the recording range, and then click the record key to start recording the Zoom meeting. When the meeting is over, there is a small stop recording button in the top toolbar. Click this button to stop recording. Like this, the recorded video will appear in the lower right corner. Open it. However, in this way, only Mike Feng's voice can be recorded. Other participants' voices are made from computers, and there is no way to record these voices. But don't worry, we have a better way to solve these problems. Collection of pictures and video links. Method 3. AppGeeker Screen Recorder AppGeeker Screen Recorder is a professional video recording software. It can run on Windows and Mac, and there is no recording time limit. Whether it's Mike Fang's voice or the computer's voice, he can catch it. In addition, if it is a business meeting or an online course, you may need to annotate some important content during the meeting. AppGeeker Screen Recorder has an annotation function, which allows users to mark important points while meeting. The operation method is very simple. First, create or join the Zoom conference, and then we will download the installation package of the corresponding computer version of this software on the official website. To save time, I downloaded and installed it in advance, and then opened it. As you can see, there are three main modules for recording functions that we usually use most often. Record video, audio, or games, and he will switch to the most suitable mode to meet your needs. In addition, these recording options are provided for you to record mobile phone screens and camera images. To record the Zoom meeting, we choose this video recorder option. In the next interface, the recording range is selected on the far left. You can record the full screen, or click this custom and use the mouse to pull out the recording range on the screen. Then, this webcam turns on the camera to record your picture while recording the screen. We don't need this function here, so I don't need to turn it on. Next to it are two audio options. Since it's a meeting, we definitely need to record the voices of other participants and our voices from the computer at the same time, so turn on these two options. After making these preparations, you can click this rec button, and the recording will start after the countdown of 3 seconds. During this recording, you can see that there is a toolbox. Click it. There are several options for annotation. Choose the appropriate annotation tool according to your needs, and then focus your meeting like this. Click this stop button after the meeting, and the recording screen will automatically appear on the screen. You can preview the recorded video, make some basic clips similar to trim, and then export this screen recording file to your computer, and you're done. It's simple and direct, right? That's our video content today. I believe that after watching the video, you must have found the most suitable recording method for a Zoom meeting for you. If today's video helps you, I hope you can like the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we will bring you more interesting content next time. Bye.